Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 4 of our Android app automation with Robotium series. And in this part, we're going to talk about installing Android SDK and Eclipse. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Installing Android SDK Before starting to write our first Android application, it's super important to get our environment ready. For that, we require Java from this website and we also require Eclipse Luna based on your platform whether it is Windows, Linux or Mac whichever you prefer but for this series we're going to use Windows and then we require Eclipse plugin for Android so again since your Eclipse is going to be talking with the Android application which we're going to develop and also the emulators that you're going to use for running the test or the applications you surely need a plugin for Eclipse to talk with the Android and for that we require Eclipse plugin for the Android and this you can download from the link just shown here and then we require a Android SDK from the site listed so the SDK is nothing but a software development kit which is provided from Google to develop the Android applications so without using SDK, we cannot develop anything on Android. So this, XD, so this SDK exposes as all the APIs to write the code on the Android. So you can read the complete installation guide from the link in the exitautomation.com, but we can also discuss a lot more detail in this video. Installing Java and Eclipse. So I'm going to skip this slide because installing Java and Eclipse is going to be a straightforward stuff. So let's move forward. Installing SDK and Eclipse plugin. So the first thing we need to do is to install the SDK and Eclipse plugin. So for that, let me first open the Chrome and show you where to download the SDK and also the Eclipse plugin. So just to Google it for the Eclipse plugin. So now you can see there is a link installing the Eclipse plugin. So just open this link. And also we need the SDK for Android. So that you can download from this link. Right? So this is the plugin that you can install from the link. Uh, so we are going to use Eclipse Luna for our demonstration purpose. So for installing the ADT plugins, all you need to do is to open the Eclipse. So I have opened the Eclipse right now. So this is my Eclipse IDE. Just go to help and there is an option called install new softwares. Just go here and you can just copy paste this link. So here you can see there is a download the ADT plugin. So just copy this link and then just paste it in the place here. And now you can see there is a developer option. So this developer option, just select it and install it. And it shows that all items are installed since I have already installed in my Eclipse. So you can just see there is a list of four or five options selected. So just check that and hit next and finish. This will install all the required development tools for Android in your Eclipse, right? So this is the installation of your plugin in your Eclipse IDE. And the next one is to download the SDK. So we're not going to install Android Studio. So if you install Android Studio, it will automatically have all the stuff we are doing right now manually. But we're not going to use the Android Studio for now. But what we can do is we can download the SDK so this SDK is actually available if you scroll down you can see there is a SDK tools only section and here you can see for the platform windows you will have the Android SDK this is the latest version of SDK currently published by Google Android so you can download it from here right or you can download the exe as well so I'm going to download this zip file so once you download this zip file and once you unzip this file, the file will look like this. 
and it will have some exe file like sdk manager abd manager and there are some list of folders right just leave this as of now and then once your plugin is installed once you open the eclipse for the first time after installing the developer tools it will prompt you for asking the path of the android sdk since you might not have configured your Eclipse to point the Android SDK because without Android SDK, Eclipse will not develop any Android based applications because the Android SDK will not just have the developer tools, but it also has the actual image of your, the Android operating system. So for configuring that, just go to Windows, Preference, and in the Android, you can see there is the SDK location under the Android preferences. So for the SDK location, you can straight away point the location of the SDK. So this is the location of my SDK. F colon Android, Android SDK for Windows, right? So F colon Android, Android SDK for Windows, right? So I've just configured that. So once you configure this and hit apply and OK, your Eclipse ID will now know that there is a SDK for me for developing Android applications. Super. Just minimize this. So we have installed the SDK and Eclipse plugin for... So the next thing we need to do is to download the Android via SDK manager. So what does it mean? We have downloaded the Android SDK, but what is this Android is all about? So let's flip to Android SDK folder. So here you can see there is two exe file. The one which I'm talking about right now is the SDK manager. So just right click and select the run as administrator. And you can see the Android SDK manager will be loaded. So it will keep on loading the packages. Once the package is loaded, it will show you the list of tools and list of Androids available for you to be downloaded for using that in your applications. So currently I have installed all the tools and also the operating system which I require. I have downloaded the tools like Android SDK tools, all these tools. And also I have downloaded the Android 5.1.1, which is the lollipop version of Android. But I have not downloaded the Android M version since it is in preview and I'm not going to develop an application for that. So I'm not going to download this one right now. And I'm not interested in tools as well since this is a preview channel so I just skipped that and then I have downloaded on the the document and SDK platform for Android 5.1.1 and then I have skipped this VR as well so this is Android VR for your watches and as and your other wearable technologies and then I have downloaded all the SDKs for ARM processor, Intel processor, etc. for API level 19, which is Android 4.4. And also 4.3. And I believe that's it. I've just downloaded 19, 20, and 21. So these are the different kinds of API levels of Android for each and every versions of operating system which Android has got. Right? And then you need to download the extras as well. For the extras, I have downloaded everything since all of them are required for now, right? Just download everything in your Android SDK manager. This is more than enough for getting started with your Android in your Eclipse. So this will download the system images and required file for your Android. And you can see all of them in the platform tools and also the system images. So if you see the system image, I had downloaded the Android 18 version. This is for the ARM processor and you can see there is a system.image. So this is nothing but the operating system image file and also the user data image file. Similarly for the Android version 19 you can see there is two processor versions. One is for the ARM processor, one is for the x86 processors. And for the ARM processor we have system image which is 550 MB and also for the x86 so again, this is 550 MB, right? So these are the two versions which is available for me 
in the Android SDK for Windows, right? This is more than enough for our Android application development as well as testing, right? Super, let's flip to the slide. Great, so we have downloaded the Android via SDK and SDK manager, so this is great. And then we need to create our first AVD via AVD manager. So what is AVD? It is, I think it is Android Virtual Device Manager. So what you can do is like, you can create your virtual devices, which can be used for testing your application that you are developing. So that you can see from the same Android SDK for Windows folder, just right click the AVD manager and run it as administrator. Sometime if you have this Android SDK in your C colon, you cannot able to create a virtual device in the AVD manager since that will not allow you the permission or give you the permission to create a image file. So you need to make sure that you run it as administrator every time you open this. So this is the Android virtual device manager. So I'm correct, super. So here I have already created one of the virtual device, but let's go ahead and create one more. So hit the create button and here it will ask you for the AVD name. So let's call this as test device. And for the device, we can select any one of the device listed in this drop down. And you can see there are a lot of devices available. Even it has Nexus TV, Android, sorry, Android TV, Android Wear, a lot of things, hmm. but still we're going to select one of them and the one which I'm very much interested is going to be our Nexus 4 or Nexus 1. This is more than enough because the size of the screen is very small and it will not hold all your Windows screen, right? And then there is a target version of the Android which you're going to use. So the target version I'm going to select is the Google APIs, API level 19. So if I select API level 19, I have two different versions of the CPU architecture. One is for the ARM processor. Similarly, one is for the x86 system image for the x86 processors, right? So it is for the Intel Atom. But right now we're going to select only for the ARM processors, right? And then there is a keyboard hardware present so just uh, select this checkbox so that it will display you the hardware keyboard and then select any of the skin i'm just going to select hvga and i'm also going to check this guy use host gpu so this is going to use my host gpu for our android so this will make our system a little more faster since my machine has got 4 gb of gpu so I can still give some GPU to my Android. So this is fine for me. And now if I select OK, this will create a test device for my virtual device listed here. As you can see, it is creating me all the stuff whichever I have given. Right, OK, and you can see there's a test device. Super. So just close this. And let's come back to the slide. So once we're done with in AVD manager, that's it. You're all done with your Android in your machine. So now you can develop your Android application and also test your Android application using Eclipse. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.